What's up YouTube, Dazwalt Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, my last video, I showed you the key group program. In this video, we're gonna go to the VS VST program, where I'm gonna show you how to add your VSTs and stuff like that okay all right so if you miss the second video which is the key group the link is going to be right here all right let's go let's get it make sure you watch this is video three make sure you watch the first one which is the drum second one which is the key group and this is the third one which is the um vst all right for beginners let's go Let's get it. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to install your VST first. And then after I show you how I install my VST, then I'm going to show you how to use the VSTs, okay? So let's go. All right, so let's go over to Plugin Boutique. We can, let's get a free uh, VST. You have to have an account, so go ahead and log into your account, right? And let's go ahead, free instruments. Let's do a synth. I don't know which one. Uh, only thing you got to make sure you're installing this, the VST has to be for the MPC software. It has to be a 64 bit VST. They do not support 32 bit and it has to be a VST 2, not a VST 3. OK, so 64 bit VST 2. All right. So let's see this one. I'm just going to add one. Let's make sure it's a 64 bit. See, 64 bit only. Windows 7. And make sure it's a VST2. So once you see right here, VST, you can use it. It's supported in VST3. But once you see this right here, you can use it. All right. Once you see that. And this 64 bit, the MPC accept that. Okay, so we're there. Let's go to add to my downloads. Thank you for purchasing. Welcome to blah 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 blah. You didn't hear your purchasing. You just go through your your motions and do what you need to do, right? Okay, so once you download, once you download your your VST and you're ready to install it, agree next uh, me I don't want the AAX don't want the VST 3 uh, the VST right here is fine this is the 64 bit one we want that in the standalone we don't want the standalone so we just want this one right hit next I'd never put my VSTs on my C drive because it, they take up too many space so I like to change it and put it on my external hard drive. So find an external hard drive. SSD would be best. Um, instead of an HD, you wanted the SSD, right? Solid state drive. Um, I normally put mine on my solid state drive. So find your solid state drive and install it there. If you want to install it on your C drive, go ahead and do it. Just remember where you install it at, okay? okay and then you just go to finish now what you need to do is go um to the hamburger helper edit preference plugins i install mine's under my nexus and then hit scan new because that's where all my ssd is located at once it scans, it will let you know that it find it. Right here. Found it perfectly. Hit OK. 
Now what you want to do is go to your VST, go to your VST. Once you're in your VST, now you after you installed it, now you what you want to do is um, right here where it says plugin, hit the drop down menu. Hold on. Let's go to track three. Change the track, the track, because our track two was our key group. So now we are in track three. Um, plugin. And now we're gonna add a plugin right here. Now what we need to do is find that plugin. It's by Cherry Audio. They're right here. Double click it. New plugin is blah blah blah. blah. We want to use it as a new program. Alright, so that's how you get your VST up and running. Now, the thing that people always asking me is when they go to another track say for instance track four that same vst is still there what you need to do is add right here this plus add another vst if you want to add another sound every time you want to add another sound you got to hit that little plus button so let's go here and let's go to expand now we're in expand right if we go back to track track three we're back with the vst we just install and if we go back to track four we're back in expand now if you want another vst remember if you want track go to track five it's going to show the last vst you use what you need to do is hit the plus button or if you want to use it on another track you just simply go ahead and hit record re hit overdub not record remember hit overdub and then hit play from start okay but if you want to switch it hit that plus button now it's empty Your program is empty go here add another VST mini grand Wait for it to load up. And that's the same way how you add, if you, even if you're not adding an uh, instrument, that's the same way you go ahead and add effects. And your effects is down here. Same way you add effects for your drum program, same way you add effects for your key group program. All right? So that's it for this video. That's how you get started. The last video is I'm going to show you how to put everything together and how to use all of them to make your track. All right. First time to the channel is always welcome. Subscribers, thank y'all. Appreciate everybody. Let's go, man. Catch y'all in another one. Peace.